So welcome to South Cobb High School. So after a grueling weekend of play, the Lions are out here seeking a championship. So it's none other than the JV boys. And let's see if they can pull it out here at South Cobb against Chapel Hill High School. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Westlake versus Chapel Hill. So it's already getting interesting out there as we have the tip off. And it looks like they'll have to do that again. What a much anticipated matchup by both teams. All right, so Westlake isn't able to connect on that first try. It looks like it'll go in and out for both teams. So right now, this is one of those games where it comes down to the person that makes, or the team that makes the least amount of mistakes tonight. You're in the championship game. You want to play smart. You want to get to a great start on offense. You definitely don't want to give up anything crazy. So, wow, so it looks like, let's see how the refs draw this one up. All right, and it'll be Chapel Hill's ball. So they'll take it from the backcourt. All right, and it's out there. So it's a scoreless game, 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, and another turnover. All right, and so Westlake is the first to score. All right, so you got a full court press by Westlake. It looks like that pressure is getting to him. Okay, so Chapel Hill is able to retain possession with a baseline cut, but a block in a Westlake steal. So Westlake trying to push it up the court, and the three is no good. So no good from three-point land for the Lions. And uh-oh, it almost looked like they were in trouble. And it looks like they'll call a carry maybe. And that'll go back to Chapel Hill. So Westlake up by two. And another full court press by the Lions. So they're putting that pressure on them early. And they're able to retreat on defense. So that's good as well. And that shot won't go for Chapel Hill. But it looks like a foul is called against Westlake on that rebound attempt. And Chapel Hill will get another strike at it. All right, so the ball is getting ready to get inbounded. All right, and it's in there. So a deep shot from Chapel Hill, and that one, it'll, it'll touch the bottom of the net, but will not touch the rim. All right, so a baseline cut from the Lions, and that one won't go for them. And, I mean, they are battling out there. All right, so looks like we have an offensive foul maybe called against the Lions. And that's a turnover for them. So again, only up by two. This is a tightly contested game so far with five minutes and 10 seconds left in this first quarter. But again, both teams very anxious to do well. All right, so, so far they've taken one shot from three-point land and the second one is no good. All right, and Chapel Hill with a second chance opportunity. And I mean, when you're right there in that kill zone and the defense bites, that's how you do it. All right, so Westlake, it's a tie game. They're the only ones that have had the lead. A lot is on the line right here, at least for the moment. So a little shake and bake. Let's see, is it a timeout? No. Looks like it'll be a foul on number 11 on Chapel Hill. All right, so Lions to inbound it in the backcourt. All right, and they're trying to move it up. Yep, so right there, the Westlake coach, he looks a little perturbed. But it looks like it's still Westlake's ball, so they catch a break. And now they're putting the pressure on them in the backcourt. It seems like they're backing off a little bit. 
So, so far, what you notice is from Chapel Hill, they're not really going to press you too much, so I really don't know what to make of that. Maybe they're not too confident in their defense, especially if Westlake starts with the short passes to defeat that. You know, they probably, I guess at this point, they might not be able to have a good retreat on defense to not give up the easy basket. All right, but that one right there, shot in the kill zone, so it'll stay a tied game for the time being. All right, so this is where you want both teams to have a high-powered offense. You know, you don't want to take any bad shots. All right, and he came on in there in a dunk. That's a way to start it off. So the other thing for Chapel Hill is they got some big guys on their team. So the question is, who's going to answer that? Because when you have big plays like that, especially for both of their varsity squads, I'm sure they have somebody that's going to take that personal and they're going to want to answer those shots. So right there, that's an answer. A little bit soft, but not too bad. That'll result in some points. And now Westlake again. Trying to respond. All right, so a lob on the inside and some good ball movement so far. And that one, it'll be a shot. So it won't go in naturally, but they'll have a chance to get some at the line. So as they get prepared, we have two minutes and 50 seconds left in this first quarter. Again, the Lions and Chapel Hill tied at six. So the first shot is good. So Westlake will retain the lead for now. Let's see if they can get this second one. So far in the game, even though it's been closely contested, the Lions have only been the ones that have had the lead. So right here, if they want to keep that, they're going to have to knock down this shot. But also, they're going to have to play some really good defense. All right, and that one, it goes through with ease like butter. All right, and they're up the court. And that shot from the mid-range, mm, that first one won't go. Oh, looks like that block hit it back in. All right, so the Lions trying to get past the press. All right, so somewhat of a smother in defense. This is the first time that we're seeing it tonight from Chapel Hill. And the Lions in a need to score. So that one goes out of the rim. Wow, so it'll be a travel on the rebound attempt by Chapel Hill. So Westlake will retain possession. All right, so we got a little scrambling, and it opens up at the top of the key. Again, if you're Westlake, all right, a wide, a long shot. So... That was an interesting one, um, an interesting form on that one. It's almost like he just threw that one up, and that won't go for the Lions. The game's still tied, just 8-8. Eight to eight. All right, so the Lions, they're doing a great job of guarding the kill zone right now. So let's see. Uh-oh, a baseline cut, and that left it wide open, but it was contested by number 14, so a nice save right there, but that was looking a little wide open, and it was fast too. All right, so that one is blocked, but the second chance attempt goes, and it's the first lead for Chapel Hill. All right, and they're hustling for the ball, but it'll be Westlake's ball. And right here, if you're the Lions, this is where you got to tighten up. You got to tighten up. You know, you can't let the press put you under the pressure that it's designed to. You know, you got to do just the opposite. And this is something that you've been doing all year. So you just got to get through it. So the Lions with a chance to tie the game again. They're on the other side of the tie. All right, so the Lions are unable to connect on that one, but 
A little extra athleticism. And that'll remain the Lions ball. All right, so right here as they inbound it, you can guess that they're going to the top of the key, and they are. But they're going to have to penetrate that kill zone. You can't go for any bad shots. You don't have a shot clock. Oh, so another tough shot from downtown. All right. Jonathan Blocker was working on the inside, but all right, so a steal right there. Let's see if the Lions, oh, it'll be a little too late for a fast break. Let's see if they can get this offense going again. So it's definitely been a struggle for both teams out there, just getting some quality shots. Right here, Lions going for another shot from downtown, and that one is good. The first of the game from either team shooting downtown, and the Lions are back up, but this time by one. All right, and... The Lions, they're going to have to watch out for the inside because that play, it's been there for Chapel Hill way too many times for the Lions liking. I mean, it's like in a split second, you're going to have a guy going into that kill zone at an, at an angle, and it's been open almost every time. So they're getting better at blocking it, but they're going to be they're gonna have to be careful with that. All right, so a nice block right there. And the mid-range shot goes, so another lead change. As the Panthers go up by one. And that is your first quarter. So Panthers on top, Lions trailing 11 to 12. So a tightly contested first quarter of the game. And it looks like the coaching staffs getting their players together. So with that said, if you're the Lions, you want to get a lead. You know, you really need a lead. And after that, you got to keep it and build on it. You got to go on a run, but they got to find some way to make this offense consistent. Hopefully, their outside shooters can come alive, as we saw just with that last three. But it's going to take something from them. But the word of the, word of the day is consistency for them. So also, as always... We'd love to give a shout out to our Lady Lions that come to support. And it's good to have just the, the vocals out there as well as the athleticism. So a little later on in this game, I know the crowd can't wait to see some flips out there, maybe when it gets really intense. But these are the times that really make the game that support. All right, so we're getting back into the game, and this, it'll be the start of the second quarter in just a little under a minute. It looks like Westlake will have it to start this second quarter. So you want a more aggressive offense. Oh, so right there. The Chapel Hill defense is stifling, and the ball is knocked out of bounds. So Chapel Hill will retain possession. And again, if you're Westlake, you should know what inbound play that they're running. They're going to have somebody cutting towards the basket, and that's exactly what you don't want because if you give it to them, that's an easy point every time. All right, so as they shift around, and right on time, we have it. It's well defended, and a three-pointer that will not go, but Chapel Hill will get it back, and that will be a call against Chapel Hill. But right there, as you saw, they're going to do that cut on either side, and also they're pretty aggressive on the inbound too. Westlake trying to get some more points, and they're able to put some through. So Westlake on top by one. And now Chapel Hill trying to draw it back up. Again, the cuts on the inside have been working for them. Maybe the mid-range will come alive for them. They had a, a nice shot, I want to say, to end the first quarter. With that said, if the Lions want to stay successful somewhat, they got to guard that rim. You know, um, you can't really switch too much inside there because they're coming at them at angles. All 
All right, so the shot from downtown, and that is a swoosh for the Panthers. And I mean, just talking about the nature of this game, this is everything that a championship should be because they're going back and forth. And look at that skill. I mean, that was a team play right there, going back and forth and having the presence of mind. You just do it until the, the defense is out of position. All right, so a shot from downtown, and it doesn't go, but it looks like the Lions will get the rebound as they are up. Actually, no. It's the tie ball game, 15-15. The Lions looking for a quality shot. And the jumper is no good for the Lions. So they just settled for that one. And one thing that they got to notice is that there's no shot clock. So why are you in such a rush when there's no shot clock? And also the Lions, they're going to have to hold on to that ball. But again, as I was saying, there's no shot clock. I know a lot of these teams, and even we have shot clocks in here, but it's not activated for this game. So just looking at the rules of it, take your time because there's no shot clock. All right, so the jumper is good from downtown for the first time for South Cop. The Lions trying to get past this full court press. Oh, and the jumper will not go for the Lions. Uh-oh. Whoa. So that was almost dangerous. As he does a back pass. That is intercepted by the Panthers. All right. And that one is almost an iffy, an iffy pass. And the three. And it doesn't go for the Panthers. The Lions, they'll get it. They're going to have to hold on to those boards. All right. So the Lions trying to drive it. And a three-point attempt, and that one will not go. So the Lions, they're going to have to be really careful with that. Again, as I've been saying, as we're coming up on a little under four minutes in this first half, what, what you got to look at if you're the Lions is you want to get a quality shot. Even though you're down three points right now, you got to get a quality shot. If you don't get a quality shot, you can throw up as many of those as you want to. And another one. So again, the Lions. Hey, oh, as they collide. I hate to say it, that three-point line is not going to save you. Wow, so this is interesting. Looks like the refs don't know what's going on as they both look confused. All right, and it'll be Westlake's ball. All right, so that's thrown in at the top of the key. The Lions, they're in a desperate need to penetrate the kill zone. They have to. A three-point attempt, and that one goes through, so it's a tie ball game. But again, if you're the Lions, at least the coaching staff, you got to be a little worried that the guys are not going in that kill zone. Like right there, it opens up for the Panthers so easily. Oh, almost hit the cheerleaders over there. A good thing they got good reflexes and know how to duck. But yep, again, a dangerous thing for the Lions is they haven't been able, at least until now, to penetrate the kill zone. And it's not a whole lot of fouls that are being called as they try to get past the trap. Uh-oh, and this. So it's a timeout by Chapel Hill as they fight to not have a turnover right there. So we got two minutes and 49 seconds left in this first half, and it's a tied ball game. So with that said, both teams 18 to 18. And just looking back at it, it's been a little interesting. This is the first quarter where we've had some lead changes. So well, actually, no, it's not the first quarter. This is another quarter where we've had lead changes. So with that said, it's been going back and forth like crazy. With that said, let's see who's going to be on top at least to end this first half. 
Will it be the Lions or will it be the Panthers? And at this, it looks like the Lions will retain possession of the ball. Er, let's see. Or no, the Panthers have the ball. All right. All right, so they're figuring things out. And that is a turnover for the Panthers. So the interesting thing about that is they just called a timeout, and if you're the Panthers coaching staff, that's the last thing that you want to see. You just drew up a play, so right there, you can bet that the coaching staff there, they got a sour taste in their mouth about that, and they're looking at their team side-eyed. All right, so the Lions with an opportunity, and they're able to put the floater through. And so, oh. Well, let's see, that might be a foul. All right, so that is a foul against Westlake and Chapel Hill. We'll bring that back in. So that's the first team foul for Westlake. And there are five fouls from the penalty. Uh-oh, so a steal, possibly a fast break. And with that, Looks like both teams, they're going to have to go up for it because these refs are not going to call any fouls unless they just have to. So the Lions looking to control the pace. And the three-pointer is no good. The Lions got to be careful about that, even though they're up by two. All right, so... The Lions, if they want to be successful, they got to guard that kill zone. And that right there doesn't go through, but it'll be an opportunity for the Panthers to tie up the game. It's currently 20 to 18. The Lions are leading with a minute and 36 seconds left in the first half. All right, so the first shot is no good. So the Panthers will regroup. And of course, both teams haven't really been to the line too many times tonight. So right here, if you're the Panthers, you want to at least split the free throws. And they're able to. So the line's going back the other way. All right, so they're in a desperate need of a shot, only up by one. And as they're attacking the kill zone, another floater, and that one is through. And that puts them up by three. Uh-oh, a breakdown in the defense. But the Lions are able to steal, but they lose control of it, and it'll go out of bounds. Wow, so a Westlake turnover, and that gives Chapel Hill another chance. It's still a one-score game, so if they get a three, they can tie the game up, but you got a minute and 36 seconds left in the first half. All right, so a quick pass in the middle, and that one is a little too soft and won't hit the rim, but it'll be intercepted by the Lions. Now the Lions with a minute and 20 seconds left in the first half. They got a chance to put some more points on the board and Take it into the locker room with a lead. Let's see if they can do it. All right, so a pass inside on the kill zone, and they pass it back out, and that's what it's going to take. You're going to have to dive in there, but you're going to have to get that layup. All right, so they're fighting past the press, and the three is good from three-point land. That'll tie the game. With just over 40 seconds left in the half. All right, so the Lions looking to have the last shot. They're going to have to figure something out. All right, so that is a foul. So they'll go to the line as the Lions and Panthers are tied. 22 to 22 with 30.3 seconds left in the half. Let's see if the Lions can get it done at the line. 
So again, one shot is cool. That'll give you the lead. But if you're Lions, you need both shots. So a tough release right there, and he's able to get the first one through. The Lions Nation is looking for him to get that second one. All right, let's see if he can do it. And he can, so he is perfect from the line on that attempt. And Chapel Hill left the answer with a little over 20 seconds left in the first half. All right, so they threaten the three-pointer to try to open up the middle. And that one won't go, and the, the Panthers get the board on that one. Another shot, and that one goes through. So we got a few seconds left. Lions with a chance to score. Shoot it! And it is in there by the Lions. They're able to finish on top. Wow. As the score is 25 to 26, Westlake on top. All right, so as they get things squared away, we're going to take another look at that board. Again, the Lions lead by one, 26 to 25. So we'll be back in about 10 minutes. So get your popcorn or whatever snacks that you need, and we'll see you in just a moment back here for this championship at South Cobb High School. So we're back at it. The South Cobb, they're not able to make that shot fall. And we look at the Lions, only up by one. Looking to make something happen, but it looks like Chapel Hill is on the cusp of a fast break, and they're able to get that through. So they are up by one. All right, so the Lions in a need to answer. They're going to have to pass a little safer. All right, and by the rim, and that one goes through. Nice cut by the basket. All right, so going... All right, so it looks like that one will go back the other way. All right, so some movement right there. And again, if you're the Lions, you want to get the offense going. You're up by one. Oh, so a block right there, and that'll go straight to the line. So that is the first foul of this second half. And as we look at the scoreboard, the Lions are only up by one with five minutes and 25 seconds left in this third quarter. So right here, let's see if the Lions can knock down these baskets. And it's quiet in here, so the first shot will not go. So the Lions have an opportunity to go up by at least two, you know. So let's see if they can do that. And Jonathan Blocker at the line. And that shot is good. Saved by the backboard. All right, so the Lions... Not doing too tough of a press. But they throw it up the court. That was almost dangerous. Oh, it's like acrobatics right there. I mean, he was Superman flying up there. All right, so that is out on Westlake. And the Lions will intercept that and throw that in. All right, and we got a foul against Chapel Hill. 
So it's either that or maybe it was up and back. I don't know what that call is, but it'll be Westlake's ball. All right, so a pass to the corner, a little bit of a give and go. And I mean, they are moving that thing around. Wow. So that one won't go through, but the Lions will give another effort and try to get this ball in the goal. So we got an inbound play by the Lions, and as you see, they're bunched up. So nothing too special with this, but again, if you're the Lions, you want to get a quality shot. You might have some jumpers that go through, and that is great and dandy, but you want to get a quality shot because then that's going to open up. If you get a big enough lead, it's going to open up for some of those threes. So that shot will not go through, but the Lions are able to get that back with a power move right there. He just snatched it out of his hand. And it'll be a timeout, and the Lions will talk things over as your score is 29 to 27. The Lions on top only by two with four minutes and 33 seconds left in the third quarter. All right, so right here, both teams are feeling it. Well, one thing that the Lions coaches were saying during the break is that you got to get out there and you got to make this thing happen. You know, that is, is just what it is. You got to get out there and make it happen on the court. This is a championship. You should be out there playing as if you want to win. So we'll see if the Lions can do that. But also, you got Chapel Hill. Those Panthers, they didn't travel all of this way for nothing. So that said, both teams with something to play for. And just looking at last year, you had the Lions that were in this same tournament, this championship tournament, and they didn't win. They were at this exact same point, and it came very close. It was an up and down game, but they didn't finish it. So this is one of those years where you can redeem yourself. All right, so a pass on the inside and the shot from downtown. And that one goes through, so the Lions will go up by five. Which actually, looking at this, I believe this is the largest lead of the game so far. And that just speaks to how close this game is and how great these players are on both teams. So an answer right there, and that'll bring it back down to two. Wow, so you got to love the hustle by both teams. So, and especially the, the response from the Panthers, because one thing that you could easily see is for some teams, after the other team kind of gets hot like that, they just let it go. But to have the presence of mind and the skill to be able to answer that is huge. So we got a foul called on Chapel Hill. It looks like that'll be a team foul, so that should be an actually... Chapel Hill, they're, they're going to have to be careful. They are two fouls away from the penalty. So it could be a foul game really, really early. All right, so Westlake, a tough, tough pass on the inside, and it results in a turnover. Lions able to block that, but it'll go out on the Lions. Only a two-point game, too, so... Chapel Hill with a chance to tie things up. All right, they'll put it back to the top of the key. Uh-oh, as the kill zone opens, it's heavily defended. And right there, Chapel Hill will take a trip to the line. As we look at the scoreboard, the Lions are leading by two as they're leading 32 to 30. With three minutes and 15 seconds left in the third quarter. So now we got two shot attempts coming up. First one is good. It is cash money hitting the bottom of the net. And second attempt coming up. And that one is no good. All 
All right, so the Lions in a desperate need to score. Only up by one, as we've seen a lot of this game for both of these teams. All right, and the pass to the corner, and that three is no good. The Lions will get it back. And that shot is no good. The Lions throw it up again. And Chapel Hill will get that rebound. All right, so an easy layup, or it seemed for Chapel Hill, but going back the other way, and that will be thrown out of bounds. So a turnover for the Lions. Exciting, but you got to be smart with that ball. So Chapel Hill with a one-point deficit. A drive to the basket and a steal. And the Lions are able to get the easy fast break points. That'll put them up by three. Well, let's see if the Lions can react on defense as well. But also Chapel Hill. They got some shooters that can come alive when they want to. So it won't work on that one. The Lions going up the court. All right, and he drives it to the basket in Chapel Hill. They got to be careful. So that's a personal foul, not a team foul. So he'll go to the line. But if he wasn't close to the act of shooting, and actually, no. That is the first, that it is the 15th foul, so they're one foul away from the penalty. And that is going to change the trajectory of this game. So since they're about to be in the penalty, the way this game shifts is that, especially for this quarter with a minute and 46 seconds left, Chapel Hill is going to have to be careful because if I'm Westlake, you know, I'm going to just drive in the paint and make them do something because then that's going to give me more opportunities to go to the line. So that three-pointer doesn't go, but that's going to give them more opportunities to go to the line and get some easy baskets. All right, so Westlake is able to get it back after playing a game of monkey in the middle, and they get the foul call. So that right there, and as we look at the scoreboard, you got an option to go up by two more points, and it's a minute and 23 seconds left in this third quarter. So right here, if you're the Lions, this is crucial. Strategy-wise, number one, you got to knock down those shots. You know, those are easy bu buckets, so they missed the first one, but you got to knock down those shots, point blank. But besides knocking down those shots, you also got to dive into that kill zone as much as you can. You don't want to cause any offensive fouls, but you want to draw some defensive fouls. All right, so Chapel Hill probably trying to run some time off of the clock. All right, and a little shake and bake. Oh, and a block right at the rim. So the Lions with a minute left in the game, or I'm sorry, in this third quarter. And there is a turnover by the Lions. So about 40 seconds left in the quarter. And that rims out. All right, so again, the Lions, if they want to hold on to this, they got to be careful. Is that right there since Chapel Hill to the line with 41.9 seconds left in this quarter of play? So right now, if you're Chapel Hill, you want to bring this lead down to, I think they can bring it down to three. But they're going to have to get it done at the line. So far from what we've seen, number one is a pretty good free throw shooter. So Chapel Hill is looking for him to knock it down. All 
All right, so that first shot is good for the Panthers. It's a four-point game. The Chapel Hill is looking to bring it down to three. All right, so that one won't go, and it'll remain a four-point game for the time being. Alliance with an opportunity. They could either hold for the last shot. Oh, so as they swoop in. Wow, so. And the ref corrects the call. So that's out of bounds on Westlake. All right, and we're going the other way. Chapel Hill attacking the kill zone. And they'll throw that one almost out of bounds. Wow, so. Nice call at the line for Chapel Hill with that second chance effort. As they're trying to poke away at this lead, they can bring it within two. So that first shot is good. All right, so the crowd is trying to draw up some noise. Trying to draw up some noise. As the subs get in the game. All right, and that one is no good. But they'll get that basket, and that puts them within one. Wow, so... Wow, in the tip. Wow, so what a change in events. A tip in by Westlake leads to a one point lead for Chapel Hill. All right, so we got a ball game, folks. Seven minutes left in the game. Let's take a look at these teams. So again, this, it's a very even kilted game. So you have the Lions trying to get this win in this championship, which would be the first one in a few years. Even with COVID, they had an undefeated season, but they didn't have a chance to compete for any championship. And you also got Chapel Hill. They're out here with a pretty good squad trying to make things happen. So the Lions, they'll get the first inbound of the fourth quarter. And right here, let's see who wants it more. Is it going to be the Lions or is it going to be the Panthers? All right, so the Lions retreat to try to clear things out. Uh-oh, a tricky pass, and that'll result in a Lions turnover. And the Panthers are up by three. And it's getting loud in this gym right now. So the largest deficit for either team has been five. All right, and another turnover by the Lions and that'll result in a foul so Chapel Hill will go to the line or no they'll go with the inbound but it won't go that far alright and the shot from downtown is good so Westlake in a little bit of trouble right now Hasn't been any double-digit leads tonight. But Westlake definitely with some work to do. So the Lions are able to get a nice shot from the mid-range to go through. 
All right, so the baseline cut. It's looking like it's going to be a blocking foul against Westlake. So Chapel Hill will go to the line. And as we look back at that scoreboard, the Lions are trailing 38 to 42 with five minutes and 47 seconds left in the game. All right, so that extends the lead to five, which is the largest lead of the game. With one more, they can extend it to six, which is the newest largest lead of the game. So it looks like the floor is a little slippery. And the Lions with the need to answer, down by six. So that one is off the marker, and that one, it won't go in. It'll be another turnover against the West Lake. All right, so they're fighting against the press. So it's the jump ball. And it'll stay with Chapel Hill. So we got the crew out there wiping up the floor so that the guys don't slip. And the three-point attempt goes. And that'll be the largest lead of the night, so nine points. Lions trying to answer, and that one won't go through. All right, so the Lions fortunate to steal, but they're gonna have to make something happen. And that one almost takes a friendly roll. So the Lions, they'll have to earn it as the line as they're down by nine. So this is the largest lead of the game. And again, we got three minutes, I'm sorry, four minutes and 48 seconds left in this final quarter. So the first shot is no good. And the Lions, they gotta keep their composure. They gotta keep their mental toughness out there. They got a lot on the line, it's the championship. So both teams are thinking things over. And again, the Lions in a very dangerous situation. This is the last position that you want to be in. You haven't had a lot of three-pointers fall through. It's been some, but not a whole lot. And again, at this point in the game, you don't want to get in too heavy of a deficit. Definitely not double digits, because that's going to be very hard to come back from. All right, so the Lions with another shot at the line. Let's see if they can knock this one through and just, you know, calm down and make something happen. Because if, no, if nothing else, you want to get something from the line. At least bring this down to an eight-point game. And just play the game. All right, so that one is good for the Lions. 
And it's an eight-point game. So we have a clock malfunction. So it looks like they're going to bring it back to the other side of the court and repeat that, but it's a clock malfunction. And it looks like that clock is going to start on time. All right, so that is inbounded. And a steal by the Lions. And, oh, wow. So that's a smack to the face, and that one is called as a travel. Well, so the Lions in an interesting position. Some of them have an interesting look on their face, but um, we'll see if they can get this together. But in the meantime, shout out to the Lady Lions that are out here to support. So they're going to they're break it down a little bit more in a second. But with that said, a very, very uh, close interaction between both teams. Right now we're at South Cobb. Again, the Lions and also Chapel Hill. Trying to make something happen. So Chapel Hill getting ready to inbound. And the trap. In the backcourt, and it's a jump ball, and it'll be Westlake's ball right there. So a fortunate move for the Lions. And the three is good. So that brings the lead down some. So at least a five-point game. All right, and now it's a three-point game. So just like that, things have changed. But also the Lions, they're going to have to be disciplined. Oh, wow. I mean, talk about an athletic play right there, and can they finish it? All right, and that is a foul called right there. And again, it's a three-point game. The Lions, just a second ago, they were down by nine. But some way they found their game back in this in just a blink of an eye. But again, expect this game to go down to the wire. All right, so that shot doesn't fall through, but the Lions will get to the line. And as the score is 44 to 47 with three minutes and 58 seconds left in the game, the Lions have an opportunity to make this a one-point game. All right, so the first one is through. Let's see if the Lions can put this second one through. And it is no good. But the Lions will get it again, so now they can tie it. But they're going to have to be smart on this one. All right, a baseline cut. That won't get them to the basket. It was almost stolen. And the putback has tied the game yet again. I mean, both teams are just playing spectacular. None of them are getting at least too tired. So an answer. All right, and almost an answer. So right there, the Lions are retreating. All right, and another score by Chapel Hill to go back up by four. And the Lions with a score to bring it back down to two. 
All right, and a steal right there. And the Lions again have tied up the game. And this right here is an exciting one. So again, it's all tied up yet again with two minutes and 55 seconds left in the game. So neither team wants to lose this game. And if you're looking the way I'm looking, this is going to come down to the very last second. Again, the very last second. So this is where you look at mistake-free basketball. So right here, when you look at the fouls, both teams are far from the penalty. They both have two fouls. So they're four fouls from the penalty. And with that said, again, it's going to come down to that. So whichever team really doesn't make as many mistakes as the other one is going to be the one that wins. So with that said, the Lions, they're already back on the floor. They're already in their ready stance. But it's still anybody's game right here. With two minutes and 55 seconds left. So Chapel Hill to inbound the ball. Trying to work against this press. And that'll be forced out of bounds and it almost hits one of the girls in the face. But her face is spared and that'll be a Chapel Hill turnover. All right, so Westlake with a chance to go up again, possibly for the moment. All right, so they're moving it around, trying to get a quality look, really trying to cut at the basket. So that one won't go, and a steal by Chapel Hill. And that one goes through. Chapel Hill up by two. Lions in the desperate need for a basket. And that one falls through. So the Lions, they're going to have to play discipline. And a block at the basket. Oh! The dunk opportunity. And that's one of those where you got to go for the layup. Three-point attempt, and that one goes through. The Lions got to be careful. And the last-minute play gets it, so the Lions down by three. Talk about that basketball IQ to be able to get in position to throw it off of the defender. So the Lions in a desperate need to make something happen. And that three ties up the game. So talk about confidence, being able to answer that and tie up the game with a minute and 34 seconds left. So I mean, again, both teams playing spectacular and coming through when they need to. Wow, so what a game so far. All right, so both ball clubs talking it over. And again, we have one for the books right here. So Westlake getting the last parts of their offense together to hopefully bring this one home. A minute and 34 left in the game. And this is what the season comes down to. So. The Westlake players, they've had a host of 5 a.m. practices throughout the year. And even though they got one more game, probably closer to Friday, this, it would be a great way to end their season with the championship and bring home this hardware. Uh-oh, a foot fault. He can't run. And so that, it'll be a turnover on Chapel Hill. You got to keep those feet set. All right, so the Lions right by the basket, and that one won't go through. A tough one. Oh, the Lions able to steal. 
a give and go type of play. Oh, and it goes through the second chance effort. See if the Lions can play some sound defense. All right, so the Lions, they get it back again. And the foul is called. So the Lions are leading by two, and they'll go to the line with a minute and four seconds left. So these are the most important baskets of this game. So right here with a minute left, the Lions have an opportunity to turn this into a foul game. So right here, they need to make at least one of these. If you make two of them, that's amazing. But you got to make at least one. So the first one is out of the way. So again, these are the biggest shots of the game. So right here, what you got to do is you got to have a tough defense against Chapel Hill, but you can't give up any fouls if you want to keep this. And then in the best case scenario, you're able to stop them from scoring. Uh-oh. All right, so the Lions are able to get it right back. Let's see if they can score it. And they're able to. So 56 seconds left in the game. Chapel Hill with a desperate need to score. And they're trying to get something from three-point land. That one won't go, but the Lions give them another chance. And that one won't go either. The Lions, they got to be careful with the ball. Ooh, a tough one right there. All right, so the Lions, if I was them, I would hold on to that ball. Make them foul you. And there's 24.9 seconds left in the game. The Lions are up 61 to 56. And the Panthers have two fouls to give. All right, so with two fouls to give, the Lions a little confused about where they're going to inbound. But again, two fouls to give. So right here, if you're Chapel Hill, you want to make sure that you press as much as you can and, you know, make the Lions do something hasty. But if you're the Lions, you just got to get this inbounds. Yep, so your best shooters. So now there's one more foul to give, and they'll be in the penalty. With 23.3 seconds left in this game. Lions up by five. All right, and they're fouled again. So with that said, that'll be enough to send the Lions to the line. And this is where, if you're Westlake, you put the game away. So right now, this has been a tightly contested game for a long time. The Lions up just by five, but I mean, just looking at what they've been able to do, they've overcome a nine point deficit. And that was the biggest deficit of the game. All right, so right there, Chapel Hill trying to get it done and that doesn't fall through. So another foul with 13.6 seconds left on the clock. So right here, all the Lions really have to do is knock down the first basket, and this game just might be over with. All right. All right, so let's see if the Lions can do it. All right, so going back the other way. And that's a score by Chapel Hill. And it'll be another foul, but that'll probably lead to the end of this game. So one more possession by Chapel Hill. And that should do it. So especially the Lions, if they're able to hold off and win this game, it'll be a great win for them because especially coming this far last year, 
having a great team and falling short. This is a nice piece of redemption for the Lions. All right, so that first shot is good. All right, and this second shot should put it away, and that is good as well. So at 3.5 seconds, the Panthers looking to end this with a good shot, and that one will not go through. So this year's champions are your Lions, the Westlake Lions. So with that said, we have the championship trophy presentation coming up shortly after the shaking of hands. But wow, just a year ago, they were in Chapel Hill's position where it was a tough loss and to come back and be able to, to, to do this is awesome. So with that said, the trophy presentation coming up shortly. We give out several awards like we did in the final four. For Chapel Hill, most outstanding player, number three, Jalen Kelly. <laughs> Okay, for the runner-up for the second annual J4 Sports JV Indian Basketball Tournament, it goes to the Chapel Hill Panthers. Come on up. So I am here with the champs. So first off, what does it feel like to finally have this championship under your belt? It feels good, you know, seeing my teammates all succeed. They all did their role to help us get this W, so it feels good. 
I ain't got none. We we earned it. We earned it. Oh, boy, I'm talking about. All right. Yep, we got the hardware, so say something to the people. Hey, man, we worked hard. Uh, it was a tough basketball season, ups and downs with my teammates. Tough, tough season. Tough but season. but we came back, and look at us on top. So also, so talk about coming back. Tonight, the largest, uh, I want to say, deficit that y'all were in was nine points. What were y'all thinking about as y'all were getting back into the game? We had to get a lot of stops. We wasn't thinking about that we was going to lose or nothing because we knew we can win. We just knew we had to stop the other team from scoring and get quick baskets. I trust keep, our them composure. keep our composure. I trusted our team. I stayed calm the whole time because I knew we were going to get it done. I just like, just chill, y'all. Let them knock down their side. We're going to be strong. Well, with that said, congrats, and we can't wait to see you next year.